Hello, this is Secret Tarot, and I wanted to take a moment to thank you all so very much for your support, your help, and your generous donations to Feeding Louisiana during such a devastating time caused by Hurricane Ida. I received a status email from the Director of Development of Feeding Louisiana, Jim Dempsey, and I'm going to read that to you now and show you all the beautiful work that they've been doing. A quick update from Feeding Louisiana. I wanted to let you know that over the three-week period following Ida's initial landfall, the Feeding Louisiana Food Bank Network has operated more than 913 emergency distribution sites where they provided boxes of non-perishable food, water, cleaning supplies, and other critical resources. Distributed roughly 6 million pounds of food, or the equivalent of 5 million total meals, served an additional 86,000 hot meals to those in need, and coordinated disaster response efforts with multiple federal and state government agencies, the National Guard, Feeding America, other state food bank associations, and countless partner organizations throughout the region. We really appreciate your support over the past few weeks. It is because of that support and support from viewers of Secret Tarot that we have been able to accomplish so much in such a little time. So thank you, Jim, for your kind words. And again, thank you all so much, my beautiful subscribers, for your generous heart and your support. It is much appreciated. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your monthly reading. This is for Taurus. Taurus, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Taurus, this is for you. If this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So if you're a cross watcher, you can assign the roles as you wish. This is for Taurus. What is going on with Taurus? What is going on with Taurus? What is going on with Taurus? Let's see. Big changes. Very guarded here. Ooh, that's so nice. Um, it's a it's a love when you least expect it here, Torres, and you are headed towards the new. You are headed towards the new. I feel like, you know, you're ready to, to kind of give up. You're kind of ready to give up on love. You've just been so hurt, but don't give up. Don't quit. Don't quit, Taurus, because you're, the one is coming. They're coming. And um, it's, it's a very spiritual connection. I feel like, I feel like you have dealt with, you know, um, what you thought was, and, and maybe it is, you know, we have many different soulmates that, you know, people that we are very spiritually connected to, 
past life situations, this kind of thing. But as close as you were to this past person, they really hurt you. And I feel like, you know, your emotions are running deep. Um, and you're still kind of, you're still very hurt. You're very guarded. And, but, you know, this, this new person, it's, it's going to change things for you. It, they're going to change things for you. A lot of attraction here. But it's like, you know, do I, do I put my heart into this again? You know, no matter how strong I'm feeling this pull towards this person, do I dare put my heart on the line again? Um, so we'll, we'll take a deeper look into that. Um, let's take a look at your career here. Because I feel a big change in career as well. Um, so we have the death card. You're going through a lot of changes in, in a lot of different areas of your life. And, you know, it's hard. And you've got, you, you keep all those emotions inside. You do. Um, I live with the Taurus. So they're not, you know, you guys aren't very... Um, too too talkative about how you know you you feel sometimes but um let's see let's take a look something just is going to take you by surprise it's almost going to be like an idea that that pops in your head and you're going to know which direction you're going to go all right so I feel like your last uh, career situation maybe ended on bad terms here with the Ten of Swords, all right? And it's like maybe you got laid off, maybe you felt betrayed, maybe you didn't get chosen for the raise, the promotion, or, or whatever. It just, maybe there were some shady people here. It, I just feel like it ended on bad terms and you felt betrayed by the situation and you walked you know there was a parting of ways here um, there's a lot of things you don't know that went down um, there's a lot of things hidden in regards to this previous uh, place of employment you're very guarded with your money right now you're very protective of your money and that's fine I feel like there's going to be an opportunity here. It could be like a partnership. You got the lovers here. You're going to follow your heart on this one because I see some sort of idea. It could be a business, your own business. It could be something creative. It, it's something you're very passionate about, whatever that means to you. And there's going to be somebody that's going to help you achieve that. Now, this could be another boss. This could be somebody that gives you that loan. This is somebody that's stable, that has the power to, you know, do this. And it's going to be unexpected. It's going to be a nice, nice surprise. But all of this has happened very quickly. Um, and you're just, you know, you're trying to feel your way through this. You are strong enough to pursue this new situation and I feel like you have backup financial backup one way or another so that's very good um, you're strong enough to do it Taurus okay and I feel like this is the best thing for you it's like your heart's going to sing you're going to be excited um, you know all that water it's going to overflow it's going to kind of open up the floodgates for you and it's you know it you're so down right now you're so down. So this is a beautiful, beautiful change for you in regards to your career, something you're passionate about, something that you love. And it's like the bad times are going to be in the past. So that's very good. It's a little bit of divine intervention for you. That's what I want to say when I see that. Um, so sometimes when, you know, you're not taking the hint from the universe, Taurus, you know, get out of here before things go bad. Um, 
the universe steps in and causes a big change and a transition for you, but you will land on your feet and something better is coming and you're going to love it. You're going to love it, whether it's your own idea or you're starting a new job. Um, you, you're going to be very passionate about it and you're, you're going to be in love with it. So you're going to look forward to getting up every day and uh, and working so that's very good all right so let's get into the love portion so an unexpected romance is brewing for you and I feel like um, you've been through some really hard times here by the looks of these cards a lot of realizations a lot of truth came to light but there's still a lot of unknowns with the past um, and I just don't feel like you want to stick around to find out anything else. If they do come back around, you are too hurt and too guarded to deal with it. And um, it's just a no. You're moving on towards new. That's what I'm seeing. And new is coming in, um, you know, when, when you feel like you're not ready. But believe that you're ready because this is also um, a very quick transition for you. A quick change so life changing right so money worries of course and we were just talking about that but with this five of Pentacles I feel like you know you've just been lonely you've been down you've been you feel shut out maybe you feel rejected here Taurus but it this is temporary very temporary because what you're headed towards is your fate what you are headed towards in is your destiny in career and love. Lots of changes for you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with um, strong Aquarius in their chart. This is what you, you may not even know how much you needed these changes. Like I said, the universe has a way of course correction. And I feel like you are on a big time course correction with near, with, a lot of aspects in your life so it's time for the stars to align for you there you go so now we have the two of cups and we have the lovers here this is it's now right it's supposed to be happening now it may um, happen a little quick for you but that's okay it's coming anyway and you're ready the universe sees that you're ready you may not think you're ready but you're ready Two of Cups, this is a partnership. This is a relationship. This is a beautiful romance. Um, this is your soulmate, Taurus. All right, so let's get to the heart of the situation. A lot of unknowns. It's like you are just trying to figure things out. You could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces in their chart. A lot of deep hidden emotion with you, like I was saying before. And I feel like, you know, a lot of mental conflict. I feel like the past creeps in your head sometimes. Maybe, you know, they have a hard time kind of letting it go themselves. But, you know, a lot of ego with the past, I feel. But um, it's, it's complicated. And it became very difficult and I feel there there's definitely a parting of ways here but I also feel like you know you're you're so deep in your in your in those emotions um, that you know some of you feel like giving up like giving up on love itself um, just walking away from it you know it's not worth it I just you know I can't handle another betrayal I can't handle another you know knife in my back I can't I just can't handle it well all the all that's getting ready to shift for you to change you could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart these past people that you have dealt with Taurus have been obstacles on your way to happiness right so you've been on this journey and it's not been an easy one for you, but you're headed towards the sun. So big, big changes for you. This is in your past. This is in your past, right? Just it's too much, a lot of hurt, a lot of betrayal. It's, it's, it proved to be too much 
for your sweet soul. So you're just dealing with those emotions, and I feel like you know you 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 are you feel like you're dealing with it alone, but trust and believe the divine is with you. Let me say that. Now, there's a brewing attraction here, but you are very guarded, and you're side eyeing this person, like you know, or you will be. Um, like, mm, I don't know if I'm ready to let somebody in my heart. This is the wounded warrior. So you've been through a lot. You are the wounded warrior with that nine of wands. But here they come, you know. It's a little bit of divine intervention for you. Like I said before, you could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. This, you know, it's you're being guided right now, Taurus. You will follow your heart. But right now... Um, there's attraction brewing, this new flame brewing for you. And I feel like the two of you are going to be on the same page in what you want in a relationship. But they're going to have to show you that. They're going to have to show you that. Yes, attraction is nice. Yes, a spark, that flame. It's nice. It's a nice feeling. But will it, will it go somewhere? Will it go somewhere? Um, King of Pentacles energy you could be dealing with another earth sign or somebody with strong earth in their chart of course this is you know earth that's you male or female doesn't matter but this person i feel like can give you what you need this person coming towards you is ready for commitment is ready for a forever kind of love if you're ready for it if you're strong enough for it if you know um, sometimes, and I think you, some of you have been single for a while, so it's kind of hard to uh, transition into being a couple, being a pair, being a part of a pair, but you're strong enough to handle that. Now, you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart. You've got this. You've got this, right? Um, you're not going to put it all out there. You're not going to put your heart on the line so quickly. Um, you're going to be a little bit more reserved. And, you know, I feel the question is, am I, can I handle this? Yes, you can. Am I strong enough to be vulnerable? Yes, you are. Because this flame is going to produce a new love for you. And it's happening very fast. So kind of hold on, hold on tight. <laughs> so sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. Ace of Cups, this is, this is a new love for you. Please clarify that Ace of Cups for Taurus. Please clarify that Ace of Cups for Taurus, for Taurus. Yeah, so couple things with this combination. One, you're used to dealing with, you know, manipulators that break your heart. That's very evident here. But you can get past this heartbreak. You can get past um, all that hidden emotion that you keep down inside. You can be vulnerable. Um, and I feel like, you know, you've been manifesting new and somebody, you know, has been manifesting you. This can work. This new beginning can work and you will be open and vulnerable to it. You are strong enough to do that, right? You're strong enough for this change. You're ready for this change. Let's pull some Romance Angel cards for Taurus. What is going on with Taurus? What is going on with Taurus? What is going on with Taurus? What is going on? Let's see. You're moving on. You're moving past the past. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. There could be, the, to me, this is very Six of Swords in the Tarot. There could be some traveling involved uh, between you and this person. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my talk. He's so funny. He sounds like he's deflating. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And I just said that. You are being guided. You're being guided. So 
let this person make that effort towards you and be very receptive and and follow the signs follow that intuition follow your heart you're moving there's movement here and you're going to be glad that you did you're going to be glad that you did not give up all right Taurus that's what's going on I hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you like I said at the beginning of the video you can now follow me on Instagram Facebook Twitter TikTok. I'll leave those links down below um, you can also check out my relaxation channel sweet soft sounds I'll leave those links down below you guys take very good care of yourself have a great week and I'll talk to you soon God bless